Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have one of my favorite types of thrift hauls to share with you guys. This is going to be a Goodwill bins or a Goodwill outlet thrift haul. And I'm so excited. I have been to this Goodwill bins location a couple times in the past and I haven't really found, I haven't had like a, an amazing day there until I went this day. I found some really, really cool, unique items. I'm so excited to share them with you guys. So let's go ahead and just get into it. So I purchased a total of 23 pounds and at my Goodwill outlet here in Houston, they charge $2.19 per pound. So my total after taxes came out to $54.53 for everything you will see here. So starting off with shoes, we first have this pair of All Saints Oxford shoes. They are a metallic, really nice high quality shoes. I love finding All Saints. I don't think I've ever sold All Saints shoes before. so. I'm really looking forward to see how these will do. They are a size 38. They're super comfortable. I did try these on. They're just a great um, kind of everyday shoe, but the metallic kind of spices them up a little bit. Our second pair are these Coach heels. Really pretty shoes. Just a great neutral basic shoe. Um, very comfortable. Once again, they have this peep toe. They are genuine suede. They have the stacked heel and back. This unbuttons. This actually has the coach logo on the snap and then they zip up and down and back. So very high quality and these are in amazing condition. They look like they were worn maybe a couple times if that. These are a size 9. These were definitely my favorite pair of shoes. I was eyeing them before they said go. So if you're unfamiliar with the Goodwill bins, basically you walk in the store and there are just all of these huge blue bins that you literally dig through to find gems. And um, before, so they roll out a row of blue bins like every, they were doing it every 20 minutes. Some can take up to an hour to switch out the bins, but they were switching them out about every 20 minute, 20 minutes on this day. And when they roll them out, everyone kind of lines up around them and you can't start digging, start looking through the stuff until they yell go. And they only yell go after all of the bins have been rolled into Place because it would be you know kind of unsafe if if everyone started going like really chaotic before the bins were all kind of locked into their places in the rows. So anyways, I was standing there before they said go, and I was eyeing these shoes. I could kind of see. I just kind of saw like this part. I didn't see any logos, but I could tell that they were just really high quality, and they ended up being UGG boots. Once again, they're in amazing condition. These are waterproof leather kind of duck boot style uh, boots. And I was just so excited to find these. They have that kind of like manufactured burnished look on the toes. And they have the Sherpa interior at the tongue and as well as inside. They check out, they have the hologram and they definitely look authentic, super high quality shoes. Once again, amazing condition. Maybe worn once or twice. These are a size nine, I believe. Yeah, size nine. So yeah, amazing find on those. And our fourth and final pair of shoes are these Steve Madden sandals. I thought these were just kind of a timeless, almost like a 90s style sandal. This, this just kind of never goes out of style. You could dress these up or down and they are genuine suede. These are called the Laurel shoes in a size six. Alrighty, moving into clothing. Our first piece are these Lululemon shorts. I believe these are called the Hottie Hot shorts and I have sold these before in blue for I think $40 I want to say. 
So I was really happy to find these. They're like in this dusty lavender color. And these are a size 6. Okay, next up, I just grabbed this. I thought it would be kind of a fun layering piece for fall time. It's a sleeveless crochet long line cardigan. It's kind of like a duster length cardigan. And, you know, you could wear this over a long sleeve with jeans and boots. That would be adorable for fall time. This is a really nice find. So the brand is um, Intiwara, maybe? Alpaca. And this is 100% alpaca made in Bolivia. It's a men's sweater so incredibly soft. People really go crazy over their alpaca sweaters. And this one is super cool. I think this will do really well. This probably retailed for over $100. Um, it feels very high quality. It also feels brand new. It still has this tag barb here. So yeah, I'm excited for that one. This is a brand that I have never found before. It has been on my list. I've been on the hunt for it, and this was just kind of strewn about in one of the bins. It was also a picked over bin. I think they were about to switch it out. It was one of the last ones um, up for rotation. It's The brand is The Great. It's a size one, which I think, I don't know, I need to look that up. It's probably like a small or medium, but it's this heathered gray maxi dress, and I just love all of the subtle details. So it has some light manufactured distressing around the collar and the sleeves to just kind of give it that effortlessly edgy, chic vibe. And then at the bottom hem, let me see if I can show this. So it has a side slit kind of up to the knee, I would say. And you're supposed to take, it only has a side slit on one side, so you're supposed to take the other side and kind of tie it into a knot um, to kind of wear it like that. That's what the stock photos do. So anyways, I'm so excited about this. This retailed, again, for over $100. It's kind of a more basic piece, but it's definitely kind of like a staple essential wardrobe piece. Cloth and stone, which I don't always pick up these days, size small. I have noticed the resell value has gone down a little bit on cloth and stone. I think because it's sold at, you know, TJ Maxx and Marshalls now. But this was so lightweight, I had to pick it up. And it is a little bit more of an interesting piece. It has this kind of like arrow design to it. I liked the color for fall time. This would be adorable to like match a dark lip to. It has that high low. It's super soft and flattering. Another fun sweater, Ecote. I'm a sucker for that kind of gradient stripe look. Also the yellow. I love the yellow color. And this is 11% wool, 18% mohair. So it definitely has a little bit of a higher quality fabric blend going on. I found two of these Free People sweaters. They definitely came from the same person, and I forget what the style name on these is called, but they are super flattering. I did try them on. Um, definitely like an oversized dolman sleeve look. They're a waffle knit, and they have the cuffs at the wrists. Just really flattering, cream color, and then we have a black color and they're both size medium. All right, next, this is a fun piece, Daughters of a Liberation, which is a sub-brand sold at Anthropology, size two, zebra printed shorts. How adorable are these to tuck like a basic black tank in, in like spring and summer with maybe like a linen blazer? I just absolutely love this print. I've said it a million times, novelty prints do so well for me. I picked this up based on style. I just kind of loved the multicolor knit and also this cut. Um, it's like that high-low 
front and then once again we have that really slouchy dolman sleeve just kind of an effortlessly chic sweater to throw on that you know is kind of slouchy and still really comfortable this was another amazing find this was one of the last rotations before I left I was so hungry I was ready to go eat lunch it was like around noon time and I kept doing that thing where I was like one more rotation just one more and I kept finding amazing stuff so I was staying later and later these are Everlane jeans they are solid black in amazing condition really no fading or signs of wear these are a size 33 regular and they are a high rise so honestly that's like they're a great size and they're a great uh, cut so honestly I was ecstatic about these I haven't really sold a whole lot of Everlane jeans I'll probably list them around that 40 to 50 dollar mark but I need to double check that another brand I've never sold before Jen's pirate booty and this is a very expensive brand it does collaborate sometimes with free people just kind of like that beachy boho look is what a lot of their items have going on with them so it, it's this like halter style top and it is just kind of a shapeless maxi dress it's shapeless but at the same time it's super flattering so I'll insert a model picture to kind of show you guys it is figure flattering and it does have a lower back amazing condition it's kind of like that gauzy lightweight material and tie-dye has been huge the past couple seasons so yeah really excited to see how this will do I believe this was a size small yeah size small 100% cotton okay another uh, maxi oh, actually this is a jumpsuit it's a maxi length jumpsuit and this is from intimately free people size small once again it's a halter style jumpsuit I think this might actually be a swim cover-up just because it is kind of sheer and it is very plunging in front so this is gonna be kind of hard to show you guys but it's just a basic black piece um, it ties in the back once again we have that lower back situation happening this is in amazing condition yet another really fun sweater this kind of has like coogee vibes a little bit with the mixed colors and mixed prints i definitely love this super 80s and vintage it's really like soft and um, cozy as well so this is the kind of stuff that i definitely model um, it is a vintage piece so i will you know kind of say in the description model is a size small for reference a modern size small for reference because vintage stuff it's kind of hard to figure out you know how it will fit you because a lot of it runs small or runs different differently than modern sizing staring at stars from urban outfitters these are a size small kind of like a stone wash harem pant and i thought these would be nice with the whole loungewear um, everyone is stocking up on loungewear these days so I thought these were kind of like a nice updated basic and they have that like graphite stone wash to them on this like maroon base so that keeps them kind of interesting just a fun graphic sweater here MTV I love the leopard M I thought that was really cute and this is a size extra large which is great again we have the loungewear it is so incredibly soft and yeah it's in great condition this is adorable I love this so this is once again anthropology the sub brand is moth size extra small and it's this open knit cardigan it has a drape front 
and then it has pom-poms all around the edges. How precious is that? You can see them better there. So yeah, I had to pick this up. Once again, it's super lightweight. I probably paid like $1.50 for this. It's kind of crazy. It also has the shark bite hem. Some more anthro. We have high high size two. This is an older tag from this sub brand, but I could not leave this with all of the beautiful embroidery. I love the kind of neon colors going on. And also the tie waist belt was still attached. So that's always an exciting thing when you're at the bins or at the thrift store when the belt somehow stays attached to the piece. So yeah, I really like that. This was kind of an exciting find. I was a little thrown off when I first saw it just kind of hanging out in the bin. Balenciaga size three, whatever that means. And I believe this is like the Balenciaga. Um, the tag is tacked on, it's sewn on, and the actual tag is all embroidered. So, um, and I don't think that a, you know, kind of grandpa style men's sweater would be faked. So I'm kind of excited about this. It definitely is that like, you know, grandpa style. I did model this and I probably will market it towards women, but it is a men's sweater. So yeah, maybe if it doesn't sell in my women's closet, I will move it over and market it towards a men's piece. Obviously I'll take out the model photo of me. Um, but yeah, I was really excited about this. It's really nice quality and I love the colors. These whole like grandpa style chunky knit oversized cardigans have always been kind of like a bread and butter staple for me in the cooler weather time. Um, and you know, not to mention it's Balenciaga. So I'm excited to see how that will do. Madewell short, size 28. Love these. These are just kind of like the perfect jean shorts. They're high rise, frayed edges. They kind of have this like step hem almost. Some manufactured whiskering. You can see the pockets here. Let's see what the style is called. Okay, so it looks like they don't have the style name on these. I think these are, so these are summer 2018. So maybe they stopped doing the style names after a certain year, but I'm really excited about these. Madewell shorts have always sold really well for me very consistently. Some more cloth and stone. Um, once again, this is a little bit of a higher uh, kind of piece. It's not just like a basic, you know, chambray. It's a size medium and it's this really pretty light green color. It's a halter style dress. And yeah, it's pretty basic mi mini dress. It has a keyhole opening in back. This would be really cute to kind of belt. You could, you know, make this uh, versatile and add a belt with a cardigan, maybe some booties for fall time or just sandals for the summertime. Okay, next up we have this pair of vintage Obermeyer ski pants. And I have sold a pair of these in the past for $45. Here is the logo here. It's also here. And this is definitely the season for them. So yeah, I'm excited to get these listed. They have the stirrup bottoms here. They're in amazing condition. They have the fasteners as well as the zip closure. Um, and they are 50% wool. They're a size 10 in ladies. So yeah, I'll probably list these again around $50 and take offers. And two more items. Maeve, Anthropology, size two. I just kind of grabbed this on my way out. I thought it was cute with the cream and navy 
polka dots. It has this pleating in front, just a kind of, you know, fun little tank top. And last but not least, I love this. I think this is adorable. It's from the Free People One line, which does super well for me. Definitely better than just the regular Free People uh, label. Sometimes it just only has this tag. But this is a dress and it has this super interesting neckline with all of these straps and cutouts. It also has this very subtle checkered print to it and the bodice is like a very, once again, subtle ruffled, tiered ruffle look to it. Everything is frayed edges really really cool piece I think it's maybe like a midi length um, and this took me forever to find the style name and stock photo but I believe this is called the Mariposa dress so yeah I'm really excited about this it is fully lined and I absolutely love this subtle plaid print for fall time this would be adorable with like a long line cardigan and booties so cute so that's it for my goodwill outlet haul i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching it really means a lot to me don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe i will see you guys soon bye all